Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It's a wonderful day, and I tell you what, it, it, it's going to be a wonderful year, and everybody talked about how horrible 2020 was, but in, in reality, it wasn't that bad. It's no different than uh, really any other year, because we face trials every year, every single year year that we are alive and it when you compare it to things of the past um it doesn't even register i mean we had to wear a mask and we had different things but in reality um we're all doing okay i mean some yes they died and it was very unfortunate but um Nothing compared to like World War II or anything of that nature. So we are very blessed people. And we need to be thanking the Lord for that. I have something that the Lord put on my heart. And I'm sorry about moving the camera so much. It's just, uh, uh, you know, fat old guy. Uh, just <clears throat> Anyway, it's, uh, I had it right there. It's in Ephesians and chapter 4, Ephesians 4 and 26, and it says, Be ye angry and sin not. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. And I thought about that a lot because I don't know about you, but um, when I was a little kid, I had really bad, I mean... Even up till, um, I don't know, uh, really till I got saved, I had really bad anger issues, real bad, uh, Hulk mad, you know, kind of thing going on. But it said, be ye angry and sin not. So how can you be angry and sin not? Jesus cleared out the temple because they were simply, um, doing uh, money exchangers they were uh, buying and selling in the temple and it angered him up did he sin no of course not he grabbed a whip he cleared the place out but did he sin no no of course not you can be angry and upset because about things but you cannot be angry in sin when you do things you have to listen to the spirit of the lord and that is what is what makes the difference the spirit of god if you're going to do something and you're going to get upset about it and you need to make sure that you have god on board with you before you go and speak the things that are unretractable um because we tend to just kind of you know the old saying fly off the handle well we do that a lot we do that a lot, and and we say these things, and then these words they they never get out of the ear of the person that they heard, and they just keep playing in that person's mind over and over and over, and it becomes extremely hurtful and uh, something that doesn't go away. And be angry and sin not. It's okay to get upset. It's okay to get angry. It's okay to have that emotion because it exists, obviously. But the point is to make sure that you are allowing God to control every aspect of your life. It says, um, let not let the sun go down upon your wrath. It means work things out. Let it, let it, um... Uh, don't let it linger on. Don't let it go and go and go and to the point where you are um, so consumed by this anger. And before you know it, what started out as a little fire from a match, now it's a huge brush fire i mean it's something that hardly can't be contained my own the only thing that contained my anger and um was the lord that's it when i got mad uh before there was just about nothing 
that I wouldn't have put past me. And uh, my mother is a test to, uh, can testify to that, but, um, and I'm ashamed of it, but it is what it is. And um, it's in the past. God doesn't remember it. Why should I even remember it? But the only reason I'm bringing it up is because God can help you too. If you have those anger issues, those moments where you just want to, you know, get mad and, and and go on a rampage, let God calm you down. Let the Lord use your lips for good and not for evil. And the next scripture, and I'm trying to hurry. Um, the next scripture says, neither give place to the devil. And that's verse 27 of uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 27. Neither give place to the devil. When you're angry, it is an easy thing to give place to the devil at that point. And let me tell you why. Because you are in a vulnerable state and your mind isn't really thinking clearly. You're trying to think about it. Let's get real. I mean, you're trying to think about everything you can to that's ever happened uh, to hurt that other person. Really, that's what happens. I, I mean, you. it starts off as um, you left the milk out, and then it ends up with, I can't believe you were eyeballing her. You, you know, and that's nothing from my life. It's just a... Uh, uh, a coincidence, you know, or a, not a coincidence, <laughs> not a coincidence, it's just a, uh, uh, scenario that I've made up, but it, it, it's, it's reality, though, we, we, we escalate something that could, that was so small, and make it into something so big, and we do that because we give place to the devil, the devil puts these thoughts in our minds because we're in a vulnerable, we're at a vulnerable point in our life we're at a vulnerable state and he uses that vulnerable state that anger and it just starts to consume us it starts to destroy us it, it becomes something that is so wicked and so full of malice and before you know it we're not even serving the Lord. We're so consumed by that anger and we're just letting it just eat at us. That's all we can think about is just, mm, you know. And the next part of this is uh, moving on from that anger. The hardest part of be ye angry and sin not is it's it's one thing to have an argument with someone it's one thing to to be angry and it, it's one thing to have a situation occur that um involves disagreements and exchange of insults and I mean, realistically, that's what we all just about cave into. Um, you say you love the person, and then the next thing you know, you're calling them a name. Um, doesn't really seem to fit. But once that's done, it has to be over. You have to be able to walk away from it otherwise you were still giving place to the devil your sorry has to be sincere you need to leave it at that moment that way you can go to bed and sin not that way you can go to bed and say the anger my anger, or the sun isn't going down upon my wrath. If the sun isn't going down upon my anger, I'm going to bed with a, a pure, clean heart. And that is a big issue because, let me tell you, the devil will take something so simple and, and just allow it to 
infiltrate your heart and your soul and your spiritual life. And the next thing you know, you're worshiping the devil before you even are worshiping God. I mean, be realistic with yourself. When are the when is the last time that you just sat there and focused upon the Lord instead of focusing upon these negative situations all around us? We probably have been given more attention to this COVID situation than we have the Lord. That's how the devil works. We get angry about this COVID situation. We get angry about this. Yes, of course we're angry. We can't go out and we can't do things. We can't see people that we love. Okay, yeah, it makes us angry. But if it disrupts our relationship with the Lord, then something has to be done upon our part. There's a point where we have to get down upon our knees and say, Lord, I'm sorry. You come first. No matter what. No matter if it's a, a, a plague, a pandemic, no matter what epidemic comes our way, what trial, Lord, you come first. Is that the truth, though? Can we honestly say that? Can we honestly say that the Lord comes first? Wow. There's been so many times where he's been pushed upon the back burner, and yet he still loves us. Unconditional, unconditional love. Be ye angry, and sin not. What about you? Hmm. There's a lot of angry people out there. They're taking that hurt, and they're just packing it inside, and... They, they put on a fake smile and pretend that everything's okay. It's okay not to be okay. You've heard me say it before, but it's okay not to be okay. Don't let it, the sun go down upon your wrath. Get it taken care of. Get it under the blood of Jesus Christ and move on in your relationship with God. Because if you don't, you will go to hell because that stuff inside of you will eat at you and it will burn at you and it will disrupt everything because you're giving place to the devil and not to God. So sad. So many angry people. Mm, I feel that right now. So many angry people. So much hurt. So much pain out there right now. Whew. Mm. Mm -mm. Give it all to God. Give it all to God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give it all to God. Give it all to God. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Give it all to God. Be ye angry. Sin not. Heavenly Father, I thank you today. Lord, I praise you for your many blessings. I praise you because I know that you're always on our side, Lord, even when... We are angry and we sin and we let the sun go down upon our wrath and we give place to the devil. We know, I know that you're still there with open arms trying to help us, Lord. As I said earlier, the only thing that controlled my anger was you. It was you, Lord. I pray that you would speak to these individuals that are so angry, that are so hurt, that are dealing with so much malice inside. Oh, God. Touch them today, Lord Jesus. Whether they need to talk to someone. Oh, Lord. Mm. Let me just say this. There is nothing wrong with reaching out to somebody and saying, I need somebody to talk to. I need to vent because if I don't, I feel like I'm going to explode. There is nothing wrong with that. And I encourage it 100% because it is very cathartic. Um, very cathartic. And you don't want... And you would be surprised. Um, 
how much just a simple talk would uh, just having somebody even listen would make such a difference. Um, it really does, and and I drove um, down the road the other day. Tell you how much I drive anymore. <laughs> I, I put twenty dollars in my gas like or my gas tank like two, three, four months ago. I don't know. Something like that. And I still have plenty. Well I'm just now at a quarter of a tank. So I mean it is cheap on gas, but I don't drive. But I did go for a little drive and uh during that drive I had a talk I had a little talk with Jesus. I didn't play any music and uh I just sat there and talked with the Lord. You know, I was a friend to a friend, and uh, it was wonderful. Very, I just felt like this burden was lifted up off of me. And um, whether you want to talk to the Lord, which is best, or you want to talk to someone else, that's fine too. Uh, find you someone to help get through all this anger and malice, and believe me, I'm not taking anything from the Lord. He's the one that lifted it from me. He's the one that can lift it from you. I'm saying there are people that just need to vent sometimes, that we need to just let it out. You know, um, sometimes you need to punch a pillow or something. Um, I don't do that anymore. I mean, I Back in the day, I used to have a punching bag. But, uh, you know, that was my uh, escape plan, I guess you could call it. Um, but anyway, I felt that. I felt that. That's why I interrupted the prayer. Because I think people need to reach out to other people. Because we're brothers and sisters in the Lord, and we need each other more than we ever have. Um, we're trying to face this thing alone. And the, the, not only the pandemic, but, the, you know, all the trials, all the problems in life, we try to face it all alone. We're not alone. There's 7 billion people on this planet, and God cares about every single one of them. Lord, I love you, and Lord, I pray today that you would help us speak to our hearts, Lord, about this anger, this festering hurt, Lord. I pray that you would touch each and every one that can hear my voice, Lord, that the presence of God would go forth and touch them. Oh, God, I pray for it today. And Lord, if there's anyone out there that doesn't know you, Lord, I pray that you would touch them and that they would pray this prayer with me and believe it in their hearts. Lord, they have to believe it in their hearts and confess it with their mouth. That if they believe that you are the Son of God, that you came to earth, performed miracles, was beaten and crucified upon a cross, rose again on the third day, died and rose again on the third day. Mm. Mm -mm. Then, Lord, the Bible says we're a new creature in Christ. We have no more sin. We are cleansed. You bridged the gap for men. And we thank you for it. And God, I pray that someone out there would be touched by this message. In your holy name, amen, amen. I know there's a, a lot of people out there probably making New Year's resolutions. I want to lose weight. I want to do this. I want to do that. Um, and I, I, I want to encourage you. If you're going to make a promise, make a promise to God. Lord, I'm going to pray every day 
How many times have you forgot to pray every day? Think about it. How many times God get put on the back burner, like I said earlier, and you just forget, or you forget to read your Bible, or other things distract you? If you're going to make a promise, make a promise to God and keep it. Um, it's, it's a very important thing because it will change not only your spiritual life, but your household and everything around you. I mean, you'll just see all these pieces starting to fall into place uh, when, when you give it all to God. It, it's that simple. You make this promise to the Lord, Lord, I'm going to do my best to pray more. Lord, I'm going to do my best to read my Bible more. Lord, I'm going to do my best to see my relationship with you grow. Think about how that could affect your overall life. Make a promise to God if you're going to make a promise. I mean, the fact of the matter is... Uh, <laughs> They put me on diet pills and then they took me off of them because they weren't even working. I, I mean, I, I, I'm probably one of the people that should be making the the New Year's resolution to get uh, on uh, a weight loss plan. But um, the reality is that I don't have the willpower to be able to uh, stick with it. So I'm not going to make a promise I can't keep. But uh, I think I can keep one if I make it to God. Lord, I'm going to pray more. I'm going to be the example, the light that you want me to be unto this world. God bless you. I, I love you. And I didn't mean to talk this long, but, you know, it's a new year. It's a new day. And. Um, it's a blessing from the Lord. Be ye angry and sin not. And remember, all you have to do is call upon the name of the Lord anytime, any place, and He is right there for you.